Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Android SQLite database tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can create a database which is a SQLite database using Android. Now in this video, we are going to see how we can insert some data into our table inside that SQLite database. So let's get started. First of all, go to your uh, activity main.xml file and go to the design uh, tab there. In the last video, we have created this uh, blank activity, right? So go to that activity and then we are going to uh, drag and drop some uh, text views here and added texts here so that we can use them to insert some data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag three large texts here and three plain texts. And now we are going to change these large texts uh, label as the column names of our table. So first is name, second is surname and third is marks. If you want, you can change the ID names of these uh, text views and added text also. So for example, this is for text view for name. Now you may be thinking that we have four columns in our table. First is ID, second is name, third is surname and fourth is mark. But we have taken only three, uh, you know, three variables here or three text views. Where is uh, ID text field and added uh, text? If you remember, we have defined ID as auto increment. So it will uh, increment automatically when you insert some data inside your table. So we don't need to um, add this ID specifically, okay? Now what we are going to do is we are going to take a button and we are going to change the text to add data and we are going to ch change the ID to button add, for example, okay? And that's it for the design part. Now what we are going to do is, if you remember in the last video, we have uh, created a class for handling our database and the class name was database helper class. So go to that class. This was the code which we have written in the last video. And now just go below and now we are going to create a new method to insert data. So let's create this method. This will be the public method and it's going to return boolean. And we will name our method as insert data, for example. And we are going to add three arguments to this uh, method. First is for name, second is for surname, and third is for marks, right? So let's add. Now, once this is done, what we are going to do is, first of all, we are going to create uh, the instance of SQLite database. But if you remember last time, we have added in the constructor of this database helper this extra line so that we can uh, see the database created, okay? So now it's the time to remove this line. So just cut it from here and the constructor will be like this. Okay, so just remove that extra line and you can paste the same line here because we are going to use this uh, SQLite database instance in our insert data method. Okay, so just paste it here. Now, the second thing we, which we need here is the instance of a class called content value. So just write, content value and the variable name is equal to new content value. Just press Alt Enter to import the required classes. 
and now we are going to take this content value instance and we are going to put some data into the columns so just write content value dot put and it takes two argument first is the column name in which you want to insert data and second is the value itself so our column name first column name for name was column 2 you can see here so column 2 comma the value which we are going to pass so th this is the value which we are going to pass here okay in a same way we will do the same for uh, column 3 or the surname column and the marks column right and this will correspond to the value surname and marks value okay now once this is done we can uh, just insert our data using this db instance db dot insert and this takes three arguments first is the table name so our table name is this variable so copy this and pass it here second is uh, null and third is our content values okay which we have created okay now how can we know that the values are really inserted into the table or not okay so what we can do is this insert method you can control and uh, just click this method and you can see here in case of error this method returns minus one and if it's successful this method return the inserted row value okay so if the data is not inserted this method is going to return minus one to us so what we can do we can define long and then result is equal to the result because this insert returns the result as minus one or the inserted value and then we can return this if we can check if this uh, value is minus one so if result is equal to minus one is equal to minus one then we are going to return false else we are going to return true now once this method is created we can uh, just go to our main activity.java file here and in here we can uh, define three edit text variables because we have created in our design edit text so we are going to create three variables for edit text and one variable for uh, our button okay once these uh, three variables are created what we are going to do is inside our on create method we are going to cast all these four variables three uh, edit text and one button now once our casting is done we can use this uh, button add data variable to call some action right so what we are going to do we are going to create a method public void add data and inside this method we can uh, take this button add variable and uh, call set on click method so set on click method and in here new on click listener now inside this on click method what we can do is we can call our insert data method here using the instance of this data helper class so in the last video we have created this instance my data so just take this dot insert data now as an argument for this insert data we uh, need three uh, arguments right so we can see 
it needs three argument. First is name value, second is surname value, and third is mark value, right? So we will go to the main activity and in, for this insert data, what we can do is we can take the value from added text. So just take the first added text, which is added name dot get text dot to string. Okay. The second value will be added surname dot get text dot to string and the third argument will be added mark dot get text dot to string and don't forget to close this and once is it is successful what we can do is we can check if it's successful or not by declaring a boolean variable so bool is inserted is equal to right because this insert data method return boolean value we have made this uh, uh, method to return boolean value if the data is inserted it's going to return true otherwise false so if this is true that means data is inserted right so we can just display some uh, message otherwise if it returns false then we can print the negative message Now our code for inserting data is done. One thing which is remaining is just call this method inside the onCreate method of your uh, main activity so that this method will be called whenever we click this uh, add data button. Okay, and now we are going to run our program. So now our app is running and you can see three added texts. So we are going to add some uh, name, surname and mark. And once our data is inserted, we can click this add data button. And this is going to show the message if it's inserted or not. So click this and it says data inserted, right? Now in the last video, I've shown you uh, the trick, how you can check whether it's really in inserted or not using this uh, Android device monitor. I'm not going to show you how you can do it once again, but just uh, follow the trick as we have done in the last video and you will be able to see the data. So I'm going to go to my database and I'm going to save this database to my local PC. And now I can see this database using the SQLite manager as I have shown you in the last video. And now you can see this uh, data is inserted in our database, right? So in this way, you can insert data into your database using Android. I hope you have enjoyed this video. In the next video, we are going to see how we can display this data because it's uh, not convenient to go every time to the database and see it in the SQLite manager. So we are going to create some code to display the data using some button. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.